You just heard Skinwalker and Teeth by Count Divine, and I don't know if you can tell by the, these are my anxious sounds in the background, but Count Divine is here with us. So what's it called? They're back, and they're back. They're back. They came here earlier in the year, and they're back. So how would you guys like to say hi, introduce, introduce, um, reintroduce yourselves for those who heard the last interview, and um, introduce yourselves for those who didn't. Here, here the last interview, so when you guys go ahead. <coughs> Hello there. We are Count Vine. This is, uh, I guess if they are real names. Yeah. Yes. All right. So this is Marco's uh, guitar player. It's and vocalist as well. And com composer. Ooh. Songwriter. All right. I'm Alejandro Perez. I play the drums. Hi, hi, Alejandro. And I'm Ben. And then we're, we're go in. <laughs> <laughs> go, 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 go. And I do everything else that mm -hmm. hasn't been listed, mm -hmm. which includes bass, mm -hmm. keyboards, vocals. Are you all about it? No. Is your name Megan Trainer? No. Uh, are you fat? What was that? No. That oh, must have been a thing in the stream. Don't worry about okay. it. Oh, that's cool. We're, we're not fried. We're not dead or anything. So yeah. we'll be fine. So how are you doing, Doctor? No. Um, I'm pretty good. I'm pretty good. I what's called been. It's like all plain weird music and stuff. All that fun stuff. Interviewing people. Yeah. Interviewing attorney, former attorney general. So. That's pretty good. Oh my god. That sounds pretty cool. Yeah, that, that did sound pretty cool, although it sounded pretty horrific too. Yeah. <laughs> so, let's see. So, why, so, why don't we talk about your guys' songs, the ones we just played, you know? So, like Skinwalker, Teeth, like. What, what is the gen what was the genesis of these names, you know? Like, what inspired you to make songs about these? Like, what mm. are they even about? Well, the first song that was played, uh, Skinwalkers, that song was written a long time ago, about t two, three years ago, I believe. Three years ago. Three years ago, mm -hmm. I believe. And um, the, I mean, the, uh, the name's pretty obvious, you know, Skinwalkers. It's about Skinwalkers. Yeah. What's and a Skinwalker for those of us? What's that? I, what's a Skinwalker? Because, oh. I mean, well, Skinwalkers are, are it's monster a Oh, yeah, they're monsters, yeah. It's a type of monster. It's <laughs> like a, a, I mean, it's a little too much to get into detail, like mega detail all about, right, but I mean, right, right. there it's a, you know, a group of, or a type of monster, it's similar to werewolves, but they can turn into multiple different animals. And by the pelts. Yeah, by the pelts. Mm -hmm. It's their Native American witches, basically, yeah. that are believed to be able to turn into uh, various animals. Including uh, birds, bears. Well, like specifically wolves, crows yeah. and ravens. Yeah. yeah. And then uh, rats, Ooh, that sounds bears, really cool. wolves, stuff like that. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So it's about that. Okay, cool. And, um, uh, well, I... Uh, did you guys have any um, a particular angle going in for that song? You know, like I mean, yeah, it's a, a it's about skinwalkers, but like, are you just um, uh, are you t have a do you have a take? Did you have a take on the mythology of skinwalkers, or do you just what's called just do you play the play the trope straight? You know, so well, to speak. yeah. Originally, the story that had been that was like uh, I guess conceived for it was pretty lackluster and you know obviously mm. uninteresting. That was written by a different member though, but. Uh, mm -hmm. We decided to take liberty with it and uh, approached like an alternate history kind of thing with the whole Roanoke Island thing, what? which is another thing to be getting into <laughs> detail about. Which is basically uh, uh, one of the first col or not, I think the first colony of uh, European settlers in America came to us, uh, the Roanoke Island here, and they all disappeared and nobody knows what happened to them. Mm -hmm. So we decided to be fun to make a song about them being attacked by a Native American wolves. monster, witch, wolf wolves thingies. Things. Yeah. Which made the song much more fun. Yeah. Mm -hmm. A lot more fun than like, oh, is it, there's a wolf, huh? Oh, and yeah. Jesus. Wolves. <laughs> Dust the wolf is yeah. Dust, yes. Yeah, and then what about, what about Teeth? Let's um, originally, um, Teeth was going to be a song about uh, grandmothers. Mm -hmm. But, um, you know, we, 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 we decided to take it to a different approach. Yeah, people are usually thinking it's about, um, like, dentures. Or the movie of the same name, <laughs> but it's not about that. Yeah, there's there's nothing. No. you know, there's no. It's just it's just about teeth, lots of teeth. Mm -hmm. A whole lot of teeth. Yeah. That's a scary thought. Oh yeah, teeth. You know, teeth are pretty frightening. Yeah, they're, they're gross. They're very frightening. Yeah, especially yeah. when they grow a lot and all fast and weird and stuff. Yeah. Like that. And you got to pull them out and stuff. It's not mm -hmm. very. It's not fun. Not pleasant. No. no. Doesn't sound like it. No, not at all. Yeah. And um, uh, um, some people, I mean, I've been get, I mean, for the few people who have, but I mean, it's not not a huge amount. But I mean, some people have been asking, like, how how did you guys come across the name Count Vine? Uh, that is taken from an old uh, was that medieval? Yes, a medieval text about like various like monsters and stuff like that, mm -hmm. mythological creatures. That one, I uh, that name was chosen because it sounded like King Crimson. And you know, we like King Crimson. We like Count Vine. I do too. Very. Yeah. 
very prog stuff. Yeah, yeah, it's like you know, it sounds kind of proggy, but still spooky and fun at the same time. Yeah, and, and it wasn't taken. That was one of the names that we, one of the very few. Oh, names the big surprise! Yeah, actually, that it wasn't like taken. Not taken. So we were very happy. As as you already know, Doctor No, that um, we and Count Viner are a huge fan of horror. Yes. Oh yeah. Really yeah, big fan of horror. Yeah. Yeah, and what's the world? I'm uh, yeah, we just had ha- Halloween just passed. Was it was it last week? Or so? The week before last week. That right? was last week. Last week. Yeah. yeah, last week. Mm-hmm, yeah, and so uh, um, uh, yeah, a lot of horror stuff going around. So, um, well, as ho- far as horror goes, I'm a what I'm a like works or individuals in the genre of horror. You know, like if movies, books, or whatever. I'm a particularly influence you guys. Like who stands out to you? You know, so. Oh, we could go on about that. Uh, please, do, please do, please do, please do. It's a very big list. I guess we could go around each one of us and pick like three and like why. Yeah, yeah anyway, yeah. Go ahead, so. Ben. Well, for me, obviously, <coughs> oh, sorry, excuse me. That's like okay. the obvious, you know, like Edgar Allan Poe and uh, Lovecraft to H.P. Lovecraft. Mm-hmm. But that stuff, th- those are obviously very like, um, you know, lots of lyrical kind of things I like to draw from mm-hmm. for lyrics and stuff like that, sometimes stories. But a lot of the other stories and titles and this just general imagery comes from a lot of like old like um, you know, like Ameri- American international pictures, like horror movies, you know, or like stuff like that, you know, like old horror movies um, from the 60s and the 70s a lot, you know, like uh, The House That Drips Blood, stuff like that, you know, or like uh, stuff like that in general. And then another one is like, you know, like uh, Danny Elfman, Tim Burton kind of stuff. We're all kind of into that. Like yeah. Movie. Yeah. Marcus? I'm <laughs> oh, sorry, what? Like, which one? No, I guess your turn. Oh, sorry. I, was, I got distracted here. There's something going on here. Um, just, just go. Yeah, sorry. Um, I don't know. Ben kind of summed it up, actually. Okay. <laughs> ben really, oh, really? Summed, it, really uh, summed that up. But, like, I get it a lot from, like, 60s and 70s horror films because I think um, uh, those times really really hit very strange things when it comes to horror. Mm-hmm. Things got pretty weird yeah, around the 70s. There's a lot of weird stuff. <laughs> well, oh, very thing. strange. But, um, they're all very interesting and cool. Though. Oh, yeah, they're very interesting. I mean, we get a lot of cool things from those, but... Mm-hmm. Yeah, it was just a weird time, and I think that was the stuff we 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 dig the seventies a lot, and yeah. we get a lot of well. stuff from that. Mm. Well, the sixties and seventies were pretty weird in and of themselves. So yeah. and it's always interesting to wonder how um, those um, whatever was going on then um, influenced those movies. You know, all the movies, short stories, whatever. You know, what have you? You know. Yeah. yeah. So, I'm sorry. Can you guys hear me? Per- hear me well? Can I, I hear myself in these headphones? Uh, the, the thing is, we, we only have, have two. Yeah, there's only two head members. Sorry, we're we're we're, we're, we're splitting. We're just like, them yeah, we we put we're one really loud, and so we can like hear. Oh, okay, okay, okay. That's oh, why okay. we got that feedback. Okay, but you can hear me. You can. Oh, we can hear you. Okay, okay. Just making sure. Just making sure. You sound great. Yeah. Thank you very much. Thank you, Alejandro. Okay. And so, um, yeah. All right. Well, um, so I'm gonna I'm gonna ask um the quest that poses to any of you can any of you can answer. Okay. Um, since you mentioned them, um, who? All right. Which? What's okay? What's called? Who? Who? Poe or Lovecraft? Who? Who's that? Who? Who would you? If you're on an island and had to have one of their one of their choose between one of them, which one? Um, like which one's better? Or like which one do I like more? Which one would do you like more? Do I like more? Well. Uh, to be honest, I've read a lot more Poe than I have Lovecraft, mm-hmm. and, and uh, I'm the opposite. For me. Yeah, so and, I'm, and I'm the opposite where I'm like I'm more Lovecraft than Poe. Yeah, so two of us are more into Poe, the other one Lovecraft. But I do like Lovecraft a lot. Mm-hmm. They're they're like I mean they're obviously similar in a lot of ways, but they're pretty different too. Oh yeah, yeah. absolutely. Uh, Lovecraft's a lot more cosmic most of the time. Yeah, well, yeah. he has a lot of you know really like yeah, I, regular. I, I, cosmic I did cosmic stuff. stuff. Yeah, cosmic oh, yeah, stuff's cool. Exactly. Mm-hmm. Brownies. Yeah. And Brownie. <laughs> 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 I have to side with Marcos Donald. in this yeah. you know, debate. Thank you, Doctor. <laughs> but just because for me it's the opposite of of oh. Ben because I have been reading Lovecraft a lot lately. I'm mostly the past f- couple of weeks. What's your favorite story, Doctor? No. Oh my gosh, I'm, uh, well, it was I don't know. Like I mean, I there's the lurking fear. The color out of space was pretty good too, but I'm not sure. And um, uh, oh, that, that's really that's a really. Uh, it's a hard one, huh? Yeah, this, this is hard. This is like, what's it called? The little bind I tried to put you guys in, you kind of did to me right now. I'm like, ah. <laughs> <I'm> like, ah. <laughs> wow. Jesus Jesus back. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh, my gosh. Um, I'm going to go out on a limb and say the, the Lurking Fear, just because. That's a good one. Yeah, that one's That's fantastic. Really I, I really like, like, Nyarlathotep and uh, the horror at Martin's Beach. Uh, Those ones are really good. In yeah, fact, yeah, yeah. Mm. one of our songs, uh, Eating the Whole Whale, is kind of based off of the horror at Martin Beach. Yeah. So. Oh, okay. Go. Uh, uh, yeah. I, have a, I have a lot of favorites, but I think uh, the one that I always remember uh, uh, like, uh, pretty well was uh, A Nameless City. Oh, that's I believe that is the Nameless City. Which one was that? I mean, I, I'm, I'm trying to 
I don't even remember. <laughs> Shoot. <laughs> he, I mean, he, I mean, he didn't even write that much stuff, and I mean, I'm just like, a lot of them just like, yeah. Oh, it's okay. <laughs> yeah, but yeah, and so I'm, uh, yeah, and so I'm, well, why don't we talk about some of your mu your musical influences, you know? Like, oh, uh, musical influence. Yeah, I'm sure you could, I guess, could expound at length upon that, I mean, and please do, I mean, about All right. time. Okay, so once again, we should probably go each go around. Yeah, yeah we should, okay, we should do this. Time, I start uh, this time. Should I start this? Yeah, you start this time. Um, okay, we're... Like, how, how so, like, genre-wise, band-wise, uh, style-wise? Any, anything. Any of them? Okay. Yeah. Um, well, I, I can say for all of us, um, we, like to, we like to play stuff that's fun, so that's one thing. Um, uh, we're pretty big fans of prog, prog rock. Um, <coughs> big fans of... <coughs> Be fans of Yes, Genesis. Yeah, stuff like that. Stuff like all that fun jazz and nonsense. Um, we have that. Um, what else is there? Like we like pop. Yeah, we like a lot of. We like we like a variety of stuff. Of stuff you know, like but um, Tame and Paula. Mm -hmm. Ooh, we were just Perry. listening to that yeah. on our way here. Yeah, we were. Yeah. That was yeah. lots of fun. It was a good yeah. name drop. <laughs> name drop. Name drop. <laughs> yeah. um, uh, I think we all all of us are also pretty into uh, Mastodon. Opeth, yep. Opeth, yeah, Opeth, um, and all that stuff. Alex and I are both pretty into No Doubt and mm -hmm. Interpol. Mm -hmm. um, Interpol's really nice. Yeah. Those are two of my favorite bands. Yeah. But, um, yeah, like lots of stuff like that. And um, it, it depends on the song or even for which instrument we're writing for at the time, you know. Yeah. Because, I mean, a lot of the keyboard stuff is basically, like, well, when it does come up, it's like a lot of, like, you know, 70s prog rock and, like, 60s psychedelia kind of stuff. Mm -hmm. A lot of you know, like horror um, kind of um, sounds and s film score type of stuff too. But mm -hmm. the guitars, I mean, that's all mostly your yeah. realm. <laughs> um, that's true. Um, I, I don't know. Guitar wise, I try to like depends on the song really. Like um, which each part of the song, I would like to try to have a different feel to it. Guitar wise, mm -hmm. um, if I think it sounds, if it needs to be more heavy, I would play maybe a heavy heavy part feed it more catnip yeah feed it more catnip you know make that make that cat more. and then um and then when it comes to like other parts where like I want it to be very clean and lush and very buttery like if I would picture it as maybe if Paula Dean was in a jacuzzi filled with butter as she marinated herself with more butter yeah she <laughs> that's <does> butter <laughs> that's how much buttery I would like those lush parts yeah yeah, I think she sweats butter too. <laughs> <laughs> that that woman, her blood is butter. <laughs> okay, it's not talking about butter. Sorry, get all sweaty. Um, and then <laughs> drums. That's your thing. Yeah. Well, when it comes to drums, I just, uh, I really don't know what to say about the drums. <laughs> Only because when I'm creating it, I like to see what, because I like to work with uh, the bass and the guitar. I like to see what mends them together. And well, um, uh, I guess I'm really, in t uh, I have a lot of punk influence, so to say. I mean, that's most of the stuff you hear. But then I do have a, l a little metal here, a little pop there. Some jazz, too. Jazz. Yeah, there's some jazz there. We didn't show you those songs, but no. Yeah, they're not recorded. <laughs> they're not recorded yeah. yet. Yes. Well, we're Stay tuned. Yeah. <laughs> we're looking forward to them. I guess we're looking for uh, Combine Part 3. Yeah. I think you're thinking of Part 2. This is Part 1. Oh, okay. You're yeah. thinking of Monster Weenie Monday. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm pretty sure they moved it to Tuesday. <laughs> anyway, you were saying... Um, I, I was going to... Yeah, I was going to ask him... Uh, I was going to ask... Because Alex <laughs> brought something... Alejandro brought um, something up He about how he draws from numerous... Um, musical genres and so I'm curious and because and on the way you guys got to laugh out of it what's it called how I refer to you guys as indie rockers you know and like how people people a lot of people viewing it would probably think like oh Arctic Monkeys or whatever you know something like that you know so um, uh, <laughs> <laughs> so uh -huh. I'm just what would you guys mm. I, I mean any I know it's hard I mean I hate you know I, we don't like labels or whatever but what do you would you what, what, would you, what music genre would you say best describes you um Fart. That's what we call it. No. <laughs> Is that an acronym? <laughs> no, I wish. Funk. Uh, funk. Art. Art. <laughs> repetitive. <laughs> tissue paper. Tissue. Paper. No, <laughs> time I was going time signature. Oh, there you go, yeah. Okay. No, oh. uh, the, 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 like the fake joke, real, not joking name that we came up with it. 
is a psychedelic death prog from 1930s Iceland. That sounds legit. That's one way we like to put it. <laughs> yeah, we like to put it. I mean, yeah. I think it's about right, though, because, like, yeah. you know... It's a little pretentious, but it works. I mean, yeah, I guess, but, I mean, like, it's if you guys really want... If they really want to label it, I'm like, yeah, I mean, sure. I mean, you can you can hear the prog, I guess, and you can hear the the, the deathy stuff there. You can hear the... Uh, the psychedelia in there too, and then Icelandic because like I'm a big fan of Bjork. So yeah, Bjork. well everybody loves Bjork. 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 Yeah, Bjork. Bjork's pretty Bjork. 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 Another <laughs> name drop. <laughs> another oh, another yeah. name oh. drop there. Like getting some indie cred. Mm. Yeah, indie cred. Yeah. Mm. Even though she's like a pop artist. <laughs> An amazing pop I mean, artist. She's pretty good. Anyway, but um, she has her own island apparently. Yeah, she's queen of Iceland. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, yeah, I mean, but um, if if we had a, I guess like the actual pre-existing genres I guess we'd say mostly like um, I guess metal is the most fitting personally I think I would just like to say rock because that's a little more all-encompassing but metal is the I guess the the best fitting and the most uh, reasonable and that's the one if you know someone asked us that's the one we'd probably say because it just makes the most sense yeah. and it's the most immediate I yeah. guess that's what I'm trying to say mm-hmm. what would you say what would you say Alex oh okay yeah, I guess he says nothing <laughs> anyway yeah uh <laughs> Yeah, that's, that's that. Um, was there another question to that? I, I yeah, think like there was. I was going to follow up. What's it called? Do you guys think um, uh, the label Black Satanic Death Metal is appropriate at all to your music? Um, no. Because, like. Black Satanic Death Metal. He said about Black Satanic Death Metal. Oh, or Black Satanic Death Metal? Uh, yeah, well, first of all, Black Metal and Death Metal are pretty different, if I'm not mistaken. Yeah, yeah they and are. We're not really either one of those. Yeah, we're not either what? one of the two. Sure, we do have an influence of, like, I think some form of Death Metal in there. Yeah. And even some Black Metal here and there. Black Metal but, here and there, uh, but, like. Satanic, no. Sata- yeah, because there's. I don't I think there's, there's, say, there's <laughs> nothing in our material <laughs> no, at no, all no. that has any of that related. No, we're not. Um, no, we're, we don't. We, yeah, we don't really touch that stuff. No. Um, but, but I mean, we do have some of the like, like the hints of it, like the hints of the genre. Yeah, it's in there, but it's not like it's it's not like the whole thing. Really. Yeah, well, we're not like just we, we're not going to make an entire death metal album or an entire black metal song because I mean, you know, yeah. we're just that that'd be like making an entire you know like jazz song. Mm. Yeah. We're not a jazz band. We're not a death metal band. We're not a black metal band. Yeah. We just <laughs> are. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So when you guys like mm. use you, what's called refer to your followers as cultists, you mean it more like in the what's called branch Davidian sense than like the um, uh, Cthulhu sense, you know? Like well, it's it's a bit of both. I mean, people, <laughs> yeah, you can take it however you want. It's, I mean, it's a joke name, of course. Like, mm. we don't actually have a cult. That's a joke. I mean, we have your cult. Your cult. Is oh yeah, good yeah. For you. <laughs> it's good for you. It's good for your stomach. Yeah, yeah. yeah it is. Yeah. yeah, it's good for your stomach. But <laughs> as far as the occult or a cult, mm-hmm. um, not as far as I'm concerned, or as far as I know, no. Mm. I, I don't think we do. No. I see. I see. Well, you guys better be careful because Geraldo might do a special oh. on you guys very soon. Geraldo, <laughs> <Well, hold> <laughs> yeah, yeah. Like they're gonna like have a tank. Yeah, I wouldn't mind. Oh, oh yeah, that I wouldn't. Too, I wouldn't too. mind uh, talking to him from time to time. And actually, as far as the whole, what was that one you said, Branch Divinity? I'd say more of a Jim Jones kind of thing. Oh, oh yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that's cool. That's like, oh, why? Why Jim Jones? Because <laughs> he does Kool Aid. Oh, we well, like Kool Aid. Oh, that's yeah. true. That's true. That's true. That's true. And, and I, th- I think the whole Davidi thing that was kind of political, wasn't it? They no, they were totally religious, you know. Oh, it was religious? Oh, yeah, that, that they were called. Oh. That's why they called it cult, you know. Okay. Yeah, and so yeah, and then um, so yeah, and um, so I mean, what's what's what do you think of um? Mm. I mean, I'm sure you guys you guys know about music. I mean, we referenced um, uh, all about that bay, all about the bass or whatever, and like so yeah. popular music, you know. What do you guys, I'm gonna think of the current po- popular, I mean, music scene, like pop, or whether it's pop music, metal, or whatever, you know. Do you guys? Um, that depends on everything too. <coughs> wait, I mean, really? that's a it's a pretty big question. I'm kind yeah. of uh, um, I mean, wh- what was the question? I'm sorry. Um, what do you guys think? Um, do you guys have any thoughts on the music scene as it is now? Like, I mean, any well, any music, uh, popular, oh, like metal, any mainstream type of music? Yeah, yeah, exactly. Oh, that okay. Yeah. Well, um, as far as like mainstream, like you know, stuff that gets played on the TV and is you know like endorsed on Spotify and stuff. Um, I don't touch a whole lot of it. Mm, I, see, uh, I, see. I mean, I mean, I, I just don't like. There's some like uh. Like, Tame Paul is relatively big, and, you know, I think we like them a lot. Oh, yeah. I mean... <coughs> Lana Del Rey. I love Lana Del Rey. Oh, She's pretty big. Yeah. Um, but, I mean... Yeah, I mean, it's uh, catchy. I'll give you that. I mean, it's really catchy. 
Um, but it depends on the person too. Yeah, I mean, I mean, I, I like I like catchy stuff. That, that new yeah. song, "Feeling Good on a Wednesday" by Lord is. Oh man, that's like an amazing song. That I song mean, really good. yeah, yeah, yeah. I like it. We also yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> so, so it's all good. It's really good. Mm-hmm. But um, no, I mean, I think uh, for pop stuff, uh, it depends, I think you know. it's catchy, really. Lady Gaga is mean. pretty cool. Like her old stuff. Oh, <laughs> uh, <laughs> sorry. Remember Lady Gaga? I mean, oh, I mean. Oh, are we, are we, are we, are we, okay, we're doing this. All right. Yeah, yeah, go, go, go. yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> Anyways, um, no, I mean, I think our pops are pretty. It's a pretty good one. It's, it's okay. Just, it's just, it's, it's just. I don't know. I, I felt it's a bit too repetitive. Exactly for what right. It was. And, and, and that's saying something because I mean, like, what is it, the Fame Monster or whatever? Like, all the choruses are pretty much the same thing. But it's, it's but just, they're just really good. It's hit after hit. Yeah, man. That, that, that 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 album. It's hit. It's fresh. It's new. It's now. It was at one point. Oh yeah. Not too much anymore. Um, I mean, I don't know. Still now to kids want to see her as a duck or something. I don't, I don't know. know. <laughs> what, was that video? what duck? Remember the goose thing that she was? Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. that was really funny. That was pretty cool. That was a pretty cool thing to do. Um, I don't know. I guess after that you can say her goose got cooked. <laughs> 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 that was a bad joke. <laughs> that's a good joke. Um, yeah, that's really it, really. So you guys are optimistic then about? The no, we're realistic. Oh, yeah, really? we're pretty realistic, I think. Okay. We're not actually we're not realistic. We're nihilistic. Oh, oh, really? Especially Ben, yeah. Oh, yeah, apparently. So I don't even think you know what that means, but okay. <laughs> <laughs> Is that a word? So Is you're, word? So you're <laughs> nihilist? I'm looking it up right now. So you're nihilist, realist, cultist, yes, then? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> That's a good way to say it. Oh, I see, I see. But we're also Catholic. Oh, yeah, that too. Yeah, I forgot to mention that. What do you guys think of the new Pope? Pretty cool guy. Huh? I have no idea. <laughs> I'm not Catholic. Uh, I've I seen, I seen him on the... On the on the thingy, I'm on, on the box. On is the he, box. Is this a new one? Um, um he's pretty. Not pretty neat. S- not so old. Pretty neat. <laughs> so oh, the, the <laughs> relatively newish one, right? Yeah. I, yeah, I don't yeah. keep. I don't mean. I don't keep up on these things really. Pretty, it looks pretty neat. I, I don't. I'm not keeping tabs on the Vatican, but that's why I know there's a pope. Like, and apparently he yeah, yeah, yeah. and he always says stuff. You know, like. Yeah. like well, he's pretty. He's a pretty. I don't know. He looks, he looks pretty neat. neat. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. But yeah. I like his hat. <laughs> <laughs> I think everybody system. everybody likes that hat, you know? I think, yeah, everyone, like... Mm. Yeah. Start a war over that his, hat. Yeah, his, pa- his papal swag. <laughs> 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 Is there any chance that you guys will ever, it's called, perform in, like, papal, what's called swag at any point? What's that? Is there any chance that you guys will ever, at any point, perform in papal swag? Mm, maybe on, like, what's a Catholic holiday? I don't know. Mm-hmm. Actually, maybe at some point for Halloween or something fun like that. Oh, okay. But uh, papal, no. Swag, not really either. Uh, hey, hey, hey. I don't, okay, I fine. Don't, <laughs> I don't think I've ever heard of those two. Papal swag? I don't know what that is. Papal as in, like, being pope. Oh. Okay. Pertaining and to swag the pope. As, in oh, okay. as in what the people say to each other in prison. <laughs> <laughs> oh. I don't, I don't think anytime soon <laughs> if that's the case. <laughs> Yeah, and so well, that brings up a good question. Are you guys hmm. are you guys playing anywhere? Any upcoming upcom- dates? We have some that are games? mentioned. Yeah, there's there's a couple of things floating around. Um, you know, unfortunately, in this day and age, uh, it's hard to find places to play. You know that we don't have to shell out a bunch of money for. And considering we're relatively new-ish and inexperienced when it comes to promoting ourselves and getting out there, it's really hard. And also where we live in Santa Ana, the dark recesses of Santa Ana, there's not a whole lot of opportunity for people our age and of our, um, I guess, position. Because it's, you know, we don't have any fans really. (laughs) I mean, not a whole lot at least, you know. We have like a bunch, we have a couple, but it's not like we have enough where I think we could get, where we could get the pre-sale. Like, enough people who can actually go. Especially because a lot of them are on, like, Sunday nights, and everybody's busy on Sunday nights. Mm-hmm. So, it's hard to find places. But we are looking into some places right now. We can't say anything for sure, but there will definitely be um, will, some sort of performance. We will keep them updated. Yes. But I will. I, the only thing I will say is we did have one mentioned in, rec- like, end of November, yeah. uh, one in December, and then one in January. Mm-hmm. I won't say the days because they're not for sure yet, but... Those are uh, half and half. And uh, yeah, for those, uh, you can find us on Facebook as Count Vine on Facebook. Oh, do you want? Do you want? That's okay. Go ahead. Go ahead. You, you do it. Come on, do it. Like us on Facebook. <laughs> yeah, for for more updates on on our upcoming performances and stuff, just find us there. Maybe be able to find us, and we will send you more MySpace. information. Yeah, on MySpace too. MySpace you know. too. You know, it's still in. It's hip. Yeah. It's, it's pretty hip. Or find us on Farmers Only. <laughs> 
You're not supposed to talk about that. Oh, sorry. <laughs> <laughs> my friends are kids. Oh, yeah. Yeah. This is a family friendly show. We never talked about naughty stuff. It's That's good. Not, it's not naughty. It's good. It's I know, I'm being silly. You should, being silly. You should keep it that way, you know? Mm hmm. Well, I'm, I'm trying to think of a specific example where we did. It was, I was training myself up for the Wait, have you? What? Have you? I'm pretty have sure. You? I, it has to have come, something has to come up. If it's impossible that. I've been out here for over a year and nothing. Oh my, don't you know? Yeah, it's really weird. Any, but, but I digress. So, and I'm um, okay. So you got um. So you might have some shows coming up. Mm -hmm. How about I'm um, uh, Well, actually, you've been working on a. You guys have been working on a demo for some time. So I'm um, uh, Any it's called releases? You know, yeah, um, I don't even know what they're called now. I'm um, like online because everything's online now. So just an album. I'm gonna drop it anytime soon. Oh, well, I mean, we do have a demo out. We have it. We have it out now. It's it's uh, volume one of our uh, yeah, Tales from the Midnight Hour. It's out. Oh, it has like three uh, three of our like uh, very saucerful yeah. tracks. Two two of which you just heard. Um, the other third, which was played on this show, this very show. Yeah, this, this is studio. the first time actually. Yeah, the very first time we were on here. <laughs> yeah. Um, that song "My Own No More" isn't uh, was is on it too. But um, what you just heard actually is a remaster that we just did w over the past two weeks of those demos. Now, obviously, they're not like. You know, studio Stephen Wilson grade <laughs> recordings. Just you know, na just name dropping too. Yeah. Right? <laughs> um, but um, they will be remastered, like again, yeah. again, and they will be put up. Yeah. For and anyone's um, physical enjoyment. copies are available. I mean, it's not like you know packaged delivery stuff. It's just you know a slip case with a little booklet that we printed at Kinko's. But if you're into that kind of thing, you know. Yeah. Stickers as well. We have stickers. Very, very yeah. many stickers. And patches coming soon. Patches, actually. yes. T-shirts. All kinds of merchandise. Mm. Merchandise. merchandise. Yeah, exactly. I'll have to stock up on that. He mm -hmm. He's actually Gene Simmons because he's got the hair for it. <laughs> <laughs> that was uh, my uh, try of a tongue. <laughs> yeah, that, that was Hannibal Lecter. <laughs> oh, oh, what does Gene Simmons sound I was like? Thinking, uh, I was thinking oh, of cool. Monero from Scarface, actually. With that. Oh, I love that movie. <laughs> well, wait, wait. What do you say? I was thinking of Monero, Monero, Manny from Scarface. Yeah, 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 I know who you're talking about. Oh, that Ma guy? Marcos knows. Yeah, I know who yeah. you're talking about. Yeah, yeah. I, I prefer Tony's idea. Like, go get some ice cream. Oh, yeah, that was exactly. a that's a bur that's a better idea than. Yeah. I prefer the deleted totally. scene where he does the deal with Kermit the Frog. <laughs> oh yeah, <laughs> that was good. Watch Scarface. Do a drug deal <laughs> with Kermit the Frog. <laughs> all right. Anyway. Oh. Anyways, going. We're, yeah, moving on. Um. All right. Shoot, there was a question I wanted to ask before I was called inserted about Manny from Scarface. Shoot. What was, what was the question? I don't, even, I don't know. That's, I'm like, uh, shoot. I'm oh, like, when the doctor doesn't know. Yeah, yeah. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, no, no, no. Place to be. <laughs> oh, I just got that. <laughs> <laughs> That's me. Yeah, and so I'm um, uh, so, um, uh, well, what's it called? Um, well, actually, I'm mm. curious. Because, I mean, we've, it's been a while since you've been on here. You're, I think you're my second. You're my first people to ever come back for a second engagement on really? here. Really? Yeah. Oh. You, and That's so, strange. Um, uh, yeah. That's really strange. Well, it's not strange. You know, people are busy. You know, they don't got time for, what's it called? A UCLA radio <laughs> DJ. Who, who has time, you know? That's but, true, I guess. Well, we have lots of time, you know. Oh. <laughs> well, thank you very much for sort of. giving yeah. it. I mean, time. I have time. Yeah. <laughs> But, um, you know you have time. Yeah, I have lots of time. <laughs> yeah, and so I'm gonna. Mm. Well, I'm curious. I'm a, since that time, I'm a, What would you say? How have you? How's it? Have you guys? Has it changed for you? And always been the most significant development since that time. The time you were on, like earlier in the end of the year, what was the most important developments for you guys? Uh, from from the last to here. Yes. Okay. Yes. Yes. Um. Uh, we had a keyboard player at the time. And Robin, if you remember her, uh, she Steve? has Steve. Yeah, Steve. Steve, yeah, Steve. Yeah, she was Sparkles. Yeah, for those of you who listened to the first Sparkles, interview, yeah. she has uh, no, since Ralph. then mm -hmm. quit. But um, we still see her a lot. In fact, she was over yesterday helping us with the demos and the remastering. She she helps us a lot with yeah. the stuff. She and, has. Uh, yeah. She's technically like does all the stuff in the background. The fourth count Viner. Yeah, yeah the, <laughs> the, the uncredited fourth yeah. member. She's yeah. She's the, she's the she's Ian the Stewart of Count Line. Yeah, but that means one of us has to be Ringo. I was going I for the. So, I'm so I was sorry, going for ben. the Rolling Stones now, but the Beatles <laughs> works too. <laughs> uh, but yeah, and then we um, um, we've also gotten ourselves a good friend of ours, Kevin the Duck Aguilar. <laughs> um, he helps us book shows. He's basically like a manager, but we, we don't pay him because we don't make any money. Mm -hmm. We don't even have. But him. He's helping us out a lot. But he's he's very helpful and shout out. Yeah, shout out to Kevin. We're just, just, mm -hmm. just we're just gonna name drop all day today. We love you, Kevin. By all means, yeah. Okay, one, two, three. 
We Kevin. love you, uh, Kevin. Uh, uh, oh. Yeah. But he's but, very um, important, though. He's very important. Uh, Kevin T. Aguilar helped us out on a yeah. lot of couple things. He's he's um he's very important to us. Um, um, but yeah, other than that, there's other than that, um, lots of new materials. New material been yeah. being written. Um, we uh, more uh, I guess our sound our sounds are trying to become more finesse. I think that's the word. I think. We're to Finely tuned. Amount of finesse. Finely yes. tuned. I think so. I don't yes, know. that's which that's is very apt because it's music. <laughs> and then, um, yeah, and then uh, played a couple shows. <laughs> yeah. Pretty good shows, actually. They've yeah. been very interesting. Okay, yeah. Okay. Cool. Yeah, we played a couple times since then. About what, like uh, I think four, yeah. five times, which yeah. is. A sad small number, but it's better than nothing. It's better than nothing, and like they were pretty good shows. Yeah, they, they were good shows for the most part. Mm-hmm. That's good. That's good. Oh well, we're on the st- on shout. We're doing shout outs, which I I'm normally loath to do. Not so much because I'm against the concept, yeah. but because I just don't like the shout out. You know. Yeah. I guess. Uh, I think I called them acknowledgments before. You know. Um, I'm gonna. What's it called? I, I'm gonna I would like to acknowledge shout out. What's it called? My nieces, Luna and Cora, who apparently are listening. So and um, I guess. They would like to. It would be. They thought it'd be. It would be cool if they heard my voice or uh, the phone coming into the phone. You know, like. Um, just that's like, pretty. That's neat. Yeah, that's really that's nice good. of them. That's, good. that's adorable. Well, thank you. Yeah. Thank you, Andre. Yeah. <laughs> I can't clap. So I, can't okay. I, I can't clap either. I don't have hands. I can't <laughs> clap. Good. He plays the guitar with his tongue. <laughs> I, I play with my feet, technically, actually. I play with my feet. And his beard. And my beard. I was thinking of a certain thing from Metalocalypse, but I'm not. <laughs> yeah, especially after I just shouted out to my nieces. You yeah. know? <laughs> More shout-outs. Yeah. Mm, Shout-out. Yeah. Uh, Bottom. <laughs> all right, well, I'm, uh, well, yeah. we're actually, well, let's, I think we actually already, we just did 30 minutes, so. Yeah. Already? Yeah. Oh, wow. I, I, it what? was like 9.30, I wasn't even sure, it was like 9.30 something, so I wanted to make sure. So it's like nine oh five now. So we should be called. Yeah. 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 So, yeah. Um. So um. It was good. It was good talking to you guys. Thank you oh so yeah. much for coming in. And anything. Anything else you want to get out before you yes. leave the airways? Anything else? Like, oh, I think I think Alejandro wants to say something real quick. If he doesn't, then we'll say. Okay. Well, he's running out of time. Well, so I'll, I'll say after. You guys okay. Well, you know, we're like we said, we're Count Vine. Uh, find us on Facebook for all updates and stuff. Um, there we can contact us for. Stickers, patches, CDs, free music streaming online, and uh, whenever we're playing. So yeah, just find us on Facebook at Count and Vine at Facebook.com. Yep. Like and us or tweet us. No, we don't have we don't have Twitter. Don't we will. Assume. We will. We Eventually, Twitter. yes. When M- we, maybe. Yeah, when we have reason for. Um, it. I would strongly <laughs> rec- I would strongly recommend it because we have a Twitter for the show. I have a Twitter for the show, and yeah. um, uh, we get to contact um. Uh, uh, all sorts of celebrities you never be able to yeah. talk to in real life and stuff. It's very helpful yeah. for that reason alone. And, I, I re- and speaking of what you call right? you guys are free. You can follow The Bloop on Facebook, Twitter, YouTube. Follow us there for more content. I'll probably upload and I'll upload the interview here onto YouTube and on the website. So why you guys? So you guys please like that. And um, once again, this has been Count Vine. Count Vine, and they're what's called I'm a, an independent. I'm a rock band. And of course, yeah, too. It's called I'm a yeah, to put a to put a name on it, and um, uh, so they were. In. Thank you very much for coming in again. This has been the this is the boop with Doctor No only on UCLA Radio dot com. <laughs>